nail queens welcome back today's video is on a company which some of us are familiar with model ones they sent over some gel products and when they sent me the photo of this i was like oh it's actually kind of cute anyways i don't know if you guys have been following model ones on their social medias look at that packaging that hollow like it's actually really cool but they've been coming out with some products that are like they imitate beauty products in my opinion i don't know if you guys saw a while back in the fall i actually reviewed a product it was like their lipstick gel polishes so they came in a tube that looked literally just like lipstick well now they're coming out with these color cubes and they remind me of eyeshadow palettes so it's really cute i really like it so you open it up obviously you can't see the colors yet because they're protected and they're protecting them from like obviously exposure to light but it's like, it gives you that imitation of you having a mirror here on the palette. And then let me peel this up. It's just a tear here. And then they have this little cube of cute little colorful gels. Yeah, so they also sent over a brush for me to apply them. Oh, I like these brushes because they're travel friendly. Oh, that's so cute. So they sent over a brush so that I can apply the gel polish with. Let's just break that, so. There we go, it's really cute. Your simple brush, but it's travel compact size. And all you have to do is dab your brush in the gel polish, boop, boop, boop. And then apply the gel polish to your nails. These are really cute. They're just really freaking adorable, aren't they? I like these. That's really cute. I like the concept that they're coming out with, like lipstick, beauty, eyeshadow. Now I'm like, what's the next products they're gonna come out with? I'm like, you can't be nail polish because you already create the stuff in like nail polish bottles, so. Anyways, so I'm gonna get to the review and doing a mani with these guys, so keep on watching. So to get started, I'm going to use the gel brush that Model Ones provided with this kit, and I'm gonna use that to apply the gel polish to my nails. I'm not that great at painting my own nails with gel polish, so this should definitely be fun, but I think this little cube concept is really cute, and the consistency of the gel is different. It's more like in a putty form because it's in this case rather than the super liquidy form. So this is very new and different to me. Now, since it's not in the liquid form that I'm used to, it's not picking up as much, obviously and understandably. So this is going to be interesting to see how many coats of this polish I'm gonna need on my nails. So far, the coverage is all right and what I expected for a first coat, but I'm gonna go in with a second coat to try to get more even coverage and then I'll cure in my nail lamp for a full minute. I have a 48 watt nail lamp from Triple D, so that's the one that I'm using. I will not be showing you guys the curing process in between because it's monotonous. So just know that I apply a second coat of this gel polish to every single nail that I paint polish on, and I am fully curing in my nail lamp between layers. If you don't cure between layers, then it's just going to move all of the gel polish around and it's not really going to do anything. So here you can see that now it's adding more opacity. That's because I cured in my nail lamp and now this second layer that I'm applying is looking more opaque. It's a little bit streaky. It could just be the brush that I'm using or my technique or maybe I don't have enough gel polish on my nails. I don't know. This is very new to me. So I like it so far. I think these colors are beautiful. They apply very easily. I just need to work on my technique. So now I'm gonna switch colors over to this yellow. It's a really nice, perfect spring yellow. I think this whole palette was perfect for spring colors. So I'm applying the yellow here and I'm gonna do the same exact thing as I did with the blue, where I'm going to try to get a nice coverage, cure in my nail lamp for a, a minute and then add a second layer. Thank you. 
Now the third and final color I'm going to use is this pink here and I'm going to use that on my pointer finger. So the point of this mani is I'm actually going to do nail art on my ring finger and my thumb. And none of the colors in this palette are light enough for what I'd want for a base pink. So I'm going to be using a builder gel from a different company. It's from Soul Dips and I'll link that below. So this is her Promise Builder Gel in a Pot. It is quite literally the most perfect translucent base pink that I have found yet. And I'm hoping that she will offer it in a bottle one day. But for the meantime, I just have to deal with it being in a jar. But I'm loving this. It just makes everything look more blurred. It's nice and sheer, but also it's like a coverage. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just really, really beautiful and a perfect base for nail art. So what I'm going to be doing is using those same three colors, the pink, the yellow, and the blue. I'm going to use those to do some like swirly kind of rainbowy lines on my nail. I saw an inspo picture on my Instagram feed, so I saved it and I'll link the inspo account down below in the description box if you guys want to check it out. So when I saw that inspo photo, I'm like, let me try to recreate this mani using this color palette. So all I'm doing is painting lines here in each of the colors and I do cure and then try to build up because I don't think the gel polish is opaque enough on the first coat, but so far it's turning out all right. I really do like the Promise Builder Gel as the base background color. I think it did turn out perfect for this style of manicure. Now following along with the inspo photo, I'm going to do small accents of white gel polish. So this color is from Nail Addict LA. The pot, pan, quad that I had didn't have a white gel polish in it, so I'm going to use this other gel polish. And I'm going to use a dotting tool to do a handful of little dots, mimicking stars possibly, in the different areas of the design. I'm also going to do like... What are those stars called? They look like they're flares. I don't know what to call them, but it's like a different version of a star. So I'm going to do those and a little heart and then polish everything off with a gel top coat. All right, so I'm almost done and I think this turned out great so far. I do think that these gels in their like, I wanna call them putty form, are definitely different and unique. I would call them like more ideal for nail art because they're thicker and they don't run around as easily as gel polish in the bottle form does. So for me, it's more ideal for nail art than it is for using as full nail application, but it is doable. I just found it easier to do the nail art than I did covering my nail fully in color. So I hope you guys like this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.